hey guys welcome back to a new video in this video we'll be doing something different apart from our level designing stuff we'll be making this editor utility widget blueprint uh, which is quite handy I'll just show you all how it works in a bit I use this a lot in my professional work and I hope it helps someone over here as well so first thing we have is our add prefix and suffix button so whatever name you type let's say I'll name it sm underscore and if you just let's say click on some props let's say yeah and I'll do add prefix so if you see it has added prefix to them so it's a really nice tool if you want to batch rename a lot of stuff like this let's add prefix So it takes a while because there's multiple objects selected but it is still like 200 times faster than manually renaming everything so we have let's say 108 selected objects let's see and it has already renamed everything same with the add suffix let's go and do that as well uh, if I go into materials already added to few while testing uh, let's say Mm, let's say so these are texture maps so let's say if we want to add underscore t a suffix you can do that see it's added um, so next this outlier folder is for your actual level so let's say I've selected these and I'll type props add to folder and now if you see your outlier they are added inside the props folder and you can just select multiple things add to folder yep everyone's inside so yeah these are just some simple tools which came to my mind if you all have any special request anything which you all want to see with editor utility widget do let me know and I'll make it happen so let's dive into the video so let's start so I just thought I would show you guys how I use uh, editor utility widget blueprints in professional work and how you can use it uh, to speed up your process to ease your process or just to make it look more professional I would say so let's begin I have these random assets uh, you all must have been familiar with this level this is where I do all my work first thing is what we want to do is if you can see all the assets here they are just named randomly usually when you go to a professional setting you want your assets to be properly prefixed or suffixed so let's do that with one click if you go to rename all of them it's going to take a lot of time and my cat makes appearance in my video again anyways I'll first create a editor utility widget over here and you can see a lot of uh, what do you say uh, templates I'll just choose the canvas since this is more of a tool use we won't dwell a lot into aesthetics and stacking and everything so yeah excuse me for my cat so yeah so I'll just select a canvas panel from all classes let's name it and name it EUW underscore level design I guess I'm sorry let me just pet my cat a bit okay so open up your blueprint you're going to see and empty this thing so for the prefix what I want is I want to put a text and based on that text it will add a prefix so text input or you can just do a text widget that should be fine and yeah whatever this 
it can just be. Actually, it won't be a text block. I want a text input. Editor utility, editable text. So this is what we want, so that we are able to edit it. OK. So I just prefix name. I'll keep this like this. Uh, we can increase the font size, probably 20. Anyways, uh, actually, the hint should be prefix name. And this can be, yeah. So this is better. And what you want to do is now create a button, editor utility button, and just place that below. And you can add a text to the button. And yeah. And just name the text as, let's say, add prefix. Decrease the font size a bit. Yeah, it should be fine. I'll just change my button color. I don't know why it's white. OK, so the normal, I'll just keep it something like this. OK, anyways. We have a button, we have a prefix name. I'll show you all how it works. If you all right click and run editor utility, you'll see this. And yeah. So now let's go ahead and add the function. Okay, open up your editor utility. Also, for the readable text, if you want, you can add a, uh, some. I would say like a border. I don't know how. Anyways, we'll get to that. Now, let's add the functionality. So click on the button. And just in events, click the plus sign next to one clicked. There we go. So first thing we want is to get selected assets. So yeah. So this will get all that you're selected inside your content browser. Now let's loop this for each loop. I'm going to remove this and rename asset. So for the name, just connect this directly. You'll get this display name node, unplug it, and add an append node just drop it bottom and for a it will be your editor text get get text and this will go into your a and connect that to your new name okay let's test that i have this so i'll add sm underscore as my prefix for sm for static mesh i'll select few meshes and add prefix. As you can see, SM, SM, SM. So let's do that to all. Add prefix. Yeah, so it's added SM to all of the assets. So you can further edit this. Let's say if you only wanted to have it on a static mesh, or if you want, if you're not a fan of prefix, you can make it a suffix. You can add a new button here. Uh, which will be your suffix button. So let's let's just do that. In my designer, I'll come. I'll duplicate this entire thing. And for now, I'm just hand placing it. But if you all have done your widgets, you know uh, how to do this. Uh, I will go to do it in a different video if you need it. But yeah. So I'll add into our prefix, I'll do add suffix, compile it, and everything else is pretty much the same. Inside your button, on clicked, you can copy this entire thing and just make 
a single change. Keep your display name in A and the editable text in B. Also, inside my designer, instead of prefix name, I'll just make it prefix suffix. Okay, let's test it. So, since this is a material, I mean, let's say it's called black material. If I want to add a suffix like underscore m, and yeah, I think it has done it black material underscore m. So, yeah, you can see how easy it is to do it that way. If I just filter, let's say filter to material and I can just select all of them and add. So right now, let's say all of these. Oh, where's my editor utility? Okay, I think I closed it. Okay, let's open it back again. I'll run it. And material, take all of these and add suffix. So yeah, as you can see it has added suffix to all of them. So yeah, so next next thing, let's do something else as well. So this is, was just a random idea which I got to do today. So yeah, why not? Uh, next thing is my outliner. If you see, these are all your Unreal default one, but whatever I have imported, they are all messed up and not in any structure. Let's say we want to put them in folders or, yeah, let's say folders. So yeah, same thing. Let's add another editable text. Duplicate this. I'll add it over here. Uh, and name it outlier folder and duplicate a button as i say again i'm not going for aesthetics of how my blue widget is looking since it's a tool we use it's more of a personal thing so you don't concentrate much on the aesthetics so our name is add to folder so let's again okay we haven't added the functionality so again on clicked so get selected assets will get you assets from your content browser now if you want from your uh, level you want to do get selected actors instead of assets so this will get you all the actors from the level and again for each loop and fo set folder path this is the node you need i know it says path which is a bit confusing but yeah so again get the editor utility button get text get text oh sorry not the button you need the um outlier folder this editable text this thing get text and connect this to the folder part mm. okay uh to string and you can connect this to the folder part. Okay, this was new until 5.6, 5.5 it was working. 5.6, uh, I think you have to do it a two string. Let's try it out. Even I haven't tested if it works or not. So again, run my editor utility widget. So I'll, let's say, I'll name the folder as, mm, let's say, blocks. I'll just select these, add to folder, 
Now let's check our outliner. Yeah, they are inside blocks if you see. Now let's say let's take few more and again. So if the name exists, it will add to the existing one. If you see, if I add a new name, it will create it for us. So add to folder, outline, we see that. And yeah. Also, do let me know what else you want to do via editor utility. Uh, there are uh, tons of things which you can do. You can cre auto create materials with just one click. You can just scatter objects, randomize positions. There are endless possibilities. Do let me know in the comments what you want to see next. And yeah, do subscribe if you like the video. And thanks for watching.